Hi guys, this is Clark Kent, and I'm here to help you guys show you how to do your Flipgrid test. Now, I want to point out that we got to go fast because we don't have a lot of time, and I already wasted time doing an introduction. So let's get started. We only got five minutes. So how do we approach this? Number one, what we want to do is we want to distribute three uh, throughout because we have uh, three times the quantity. So this will give me 15x minus three from here, the next line. Uh, we notice that we have negative three and 49. We want to combine like terms. That'll give me 46. 49 minus 3 is 46. Next line. What do we do? We see 8x here. We see 15x. I want to put my x's together. So I subtract 8x from both sides. I get 7x plus 46 equals 4. Then I notice I have my 46 as a number and 4 as a number. So I want to put those together. Those are called constants. So we'll subtract 46, opposite addition and subtraction. And I'll get 4 minus 46, which is negative 42. Uh, to finish it off, 7x means 7 times x, opposite multiplication, division, divide by 7, divide by 7, x is negative 6. On to the next one. On the next one, we see that the we have denominators, which we don't like, or rather we have fractions, which we don't like, or actually the both of those are correct. So what do we do? I multiply by 20. Why 20? Because 20 divided by 4 is 5, because 20 divided by 5 is 4, because 20 divided by 10 is 2. In other words, I multiply by 20 because that would get rid of the fraction. I'm left here. Notice again, I distributed. Watch the sign here. We're going to end up getting negative 12. We're here on this line right here. What do I do? Well, I want to combine like terms. So I have 5x and 4x, but those together get 9x. Then I still want to combine like terms because I still have numbers or constants together. So 25 minus 12 is 13. We'll put those together. And what do I do now? Well, 13 and 22. Those are numbers. Those are constants. I want them to hang out together. So I'm going to subtract 13 from both sides so that the numbers can hang out together. And the last bit, want to get x by itself, divide by 9. x is 1. Next one. Well, here we have decimals. So how do we get rid of decimals? You multiply through by 100 because we notice each one of these, I can get rid of the decimal by moving the decimal place over 2. So that means you have two zeros. Multiply through by 100 to move the two zeros. Uh, that's going to leave me here in green. Negative 9y plus 11 times the coin. 9,000 minus y equals 5y. Distribute the 11. And once we're here, uh, again, we see we have negative 9y, negative 11. I put those together, get negative 20y, negative plus a negative is giving me more negative. Uh, I, I see I have 5y and negative 20y, combine like terms, add the 20y over, and then divide through by 25. Now, I did a little math ninjutsu here because I saw that 99,000 is 99 times 1,000, which 1,000 is easy to play with, because 100 divided by 25, 4 quarters makes a dollar, is 4. 99 times 4, 39.60. Boom, on to the next one. On number four, what do we notice here? Well, if we distribute, we get 4x plus 12 equals 4x minus 24. Cause of alarm? Not really. We know that they're not going to be equal because this is they're not the same thing. They both have 4x, but they have this was 12, the left has 12, the right has negative 24. When this occurs, we have no solution or the empty set. What about here? Well, here we have a fraction. We have x next to it. How do we get rid of the fraction? Well, a quick, easy way is to multiply by the reciprocal. I did that on both sides. 10 divided by 2 is 5, 5 times 3, 15, boom. Last one, PEMDAS. So do we notice here that we don't really have parentheses. I know we have parentheses here, but that doesn't really matter. Exponents, everything's 1. So we have multiplication, division. We know in deciding we go left to right, 80 divided by 20, 4. 4 times negative 4, negative 16. There we have it. Clark Kent out.